Hi, everybody. I'm Samantha from Lemon in the Sea, where I help creatives and small businesses stand out online and find what makes them unique. Today, I'm doing a quick video post on setting up a PayPal invoice. I use PayPal to bill a lot of my clients because it's a great uh, trusted source for payments and um, it's really easy to set up custom invoices that look nice and reflect your business. I like to use these to create things either that I'll email directly to them from PayPal, I can download them and mail them or send an email. So it's a really flexible system and then if someone pays online it automatically accounts for that payment and if they pay offline I can add in that they paid by a check. So I'm going to share my screen and show you how I do this. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is log into your PayPal account and you need a PayPal business account to do this, uh, but that's pretty easy to set up. Now on this first page, it actually has this online invoicing. So you can email invoices to your customers. You can also get to this through the summary page and then go to invoicing here. So in order to do a new invoice, I just click on create invoice. And I can either do it by quantity, hours, amount only, or create a template. So let's say I was charging hourly, which I don't really do very much anymore. It's going to automatically assign an invoice number based on the previous number that you use. And if you need to update that, you'll just type in the new number. You can update your image that'll show up. So I'll use my logo here and your business information as well. So you can edit or add these details and tell it which to show and which not to show. Um, so I can show my email or not. I can show my website, my phone number, um, a fax number, anything that I need people to know. Then here, if I had hours, so I might describe this as um, graphic design consultation. That's not really something I do, but it just gives you an idea. And let's say I did this for two and a half hours. I just add that in, and I charge $60 an hour. So it automatically adds that up here. You can also enter a more, a more detailed description here and say with lemon and sea um, and brand style guide provided. You can also add rows, it automatically adds them up. And then you have a subtitle here at the bottom. You can change this and add a discount of a percentage or a dollar amount, and then it automatically does that. You can add a note or your terms and conditions. You can attach some files. You can allow for a partial payment here and just tell them, okay, well, I needed to pay at least $50 now, and then you can do the rest later. You can just add anything that someone might need. So the invoice number, the invoice date, the PO or the reference, and then your term. So when is it due? Then you can save it as a draft, save it as a template, or record a payment. And this is where you could go in if someone sent you a check in the mail and tell them, tell the system that they paid you. Here you need to add the bill to information. So I'm just gonna add my name here. So you can edit the recipient's details, or if you go to address book, you can look up people you already have. And you can add any of this information that you have, whatever you might need. It's a billing address, any of that. And then what you can do is send it. So you can send this and it will automatically send it to the person. It'll show up here until it's sent. You can remind them and send another email. You can record a payment here. So say I paid this one. 
it'll come up and I'll be able to tell it how. So I could write a check and then write a note with the check number and the check date in here. So that's just a really easy way to set all of this up and record it in your own system. So I recommend that if you are using PayPal, especially if you're using like the buy now buttons on your own website and directing people to PayPal anyway, this is a really easy way to sort of keep track of your invoices. You don't have to then go in and create a custom invoice every time. You don't have to do all the addition by yourself. This is a really simple way to let them track the money. They, when they accept a payment through their credit card system, they automatically take the fees out and can mark it as paid for you. So it's really easy to use and it's something that I like to do so that I can keep track of everything in one place. And if I need to create something a little more custom, I'll just use the next invoice number and then I'll skip that one in here so that it gives me the exact accounting and order that I need. Thanks for joining me today. I hope this helped and that you'll be able to apply it in your business. And I hope that you join me for some more business advice that's going to be coming up on the blog soon.